Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. As you can see by my desk that I'm showing you, I bought some punches <laughs> um, at Tuesday morning. I went a little crazy. Um, they're just such a great deal. I mean, you cannot buy punches anywhere else for this cheap. I mean, even like clearance at Joann's and Hobby Lobby and stuff, they're typically not even this cheap. So, um, and I wanted to kind of build my punch collection. Um, been using it a little bit, using them a little bit more and I wanted to kind of, there are some things that I wanted to buy. And I found quite a bit of them at Tuesday morning, which I was super excited about. So this um, video is going to be, um, I went to Tuesday morning and I bought so much stuff <laughs> that I'm going to spread it out into three different days um, because I literally bought so much stuff. Um, and of all the buying that I've been doing lately, the last thing I needed to do was buy stuff at Tuesday morning. But you know what? It's my money. and <laughs> This is what I spend it on. <laughs> um, so I am going to go ahead and share with you the tools that I made for bought for this trip. And then on tomorrow's video is going to be Christmas in July. Um, so I'm going to show you a bunch of Christmas stuff I bought. And then the next one's just kind of gay, kind of miscellaneous stuff. So you get three days of Tuesday morning hauls from me for the next three days, starting today. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you what I purchased at for the my tools, all the tools I bought. Um, so the first couple of things are from We Are Memory Creepers, and they there's quite a few of We Are Memory Creepers stuff actually, but some of the tools that I bought was this um, swivel knife. I've already opened it um, because I do want to go ahead and uh, go through and kind of demonstrate all these things in this video, but I'm going to wait until the end so everybody, you could just see everything I bought and then um, once, and then at the end, if you want to stick around and see like a demonstration of it or me trying to use these things, <laughs> then you can go ahead and stick around to the end. So again, this one is the swivel knife that I purchased. I purchased this because I saw this on another Tuesday morning haul and I didn't really, I've seen this in their stores many times that never knew really what it was, but she said it's kind of like for fussy cutting. So I'm like, oh, well, give it a shot. And then I brought these spring loaded scissors. Um, these were $4.99. I have no idea if I even going to like this or not, but again, we'll test that out. I've seen, uh, Gail Gastonelli uh, bought, um, this tear, um, guides, rulers, tear rulers, and I love what she uses them in her videos. Um, so I, they have quite a few different things that you could do with it. And, um, there's like a water stick here because if you water it down the water pen, like say you're tearing a napkin or something and you water it, it's a little bit easier. Um, pom this pom pom maker, um, I was super excited. I saw this on the same haul. I saw this on. I was like, oh, I really want that. Um, $3.99 for this is a great deal. I remember seeing this in Joann's and it was like, um, it says $5.60, $5 but I feel like that is not right. I feel like it was more expensive. Um, but it has three different sizes, small, medium, and large. So I might actually try this on camera too. I'm not sure if I'm going to whip that out yet, but I might try that. And then the other thing that I purchased was this. <laughs> this Tuesday home morning haul that I found this, saw the girl with this one. She made me buy a lot of stuff. Um, um, and so um, you can see my cat has decided if he wants to chew on it. Um, but yeah, so this is, it's empty box actually. I got all the stuff out, but um it's basically a little die cut machine. I have quite a bit of die cuts, but I never use them because the die cut machine I have is really bad. It's like a really cheap one. And so I never use it, but hopefully with this new one, I can use it. And I've seen this in there before too, but I've never purchased it because I didn't really realize that there were so many components in this. It's got the die cut, the little stamp maker, a bunch of cardstock. Um, it's got the die cuts themselves. It's got some embossing folders. So it's got like a whole kit in here and I didn't really realize that. Um, so 
that's why I went ahead and purchased it this time because I finally figured that out. <laughs> okay, the other We Are Memory Keepers thing, I think this was the last We Are Memory Keepers thing. Um, again, something I've seen tons and tons and times again, but never have bought it until now. This is a cut and seal ribbon um, maker. I actually bought this because I've been doing my top 10 of five in my junk journals. And I've noticed that a lot of times the... Um, the ribbons are fr fraying on my journals. I actually have the new one right here, the Rooted in Hope. And um, this one is kind of already fraying. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this and see if it works. I believe it does require batteries. Oops. I believe it does require batteries if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, four, um, requires four AA batteries. So I've gotta find some batteries in my house. But yeah, so those are kind of all of the Wimmer, We Are Memory Keeper stuff. They had quite a bit of that stuff at this Tuesday morning. I finally picked up this DIY um, shop mini stapler um, because it was, I, even though this is not, it's the not marked on sale, but it was on sale. I think it was like five bucks. Um, and I noticed that the, so there are tiny little staples and I've seen this before there many, many times. I've never picked it up, but I thought, you know what? I'm buying all the other stuff. <laughs> I might as well throw this in the cart. So um, yeah, and the stapler I have, I use often. It's not mini, it's just the regular size staples. Well, it's kind of smaller, but it's not as small as this. All right, let's look at all the punches I got. So I love the ones that are the easy um, squeeze punches. I love these types. And this is just a small little mason jar. I bought the star one because um, during Christmas time last year, I really wanted to put stars on things like Christmas trees and stuff. And I didn't have any stars and I didn't have a punch. So I'm like, I'm going to get a punch. And then I have they got the ticket one. This one is for thicker paper. And I have the larger ticket punch, but now I have the smaller one. And I did want this one as well. And I got a heart just because why not? And then I found this one. I was super excited about this one. This and it's all it was still only $4.99, which I'm surprised it was it was so cheap given the what what it is. So it's got two punches, so you can basically punch out two. Plus it's got the um what is it called? That the the, the ringlet setter. So you can actually put like little ringlets and it has the ringlets in there. So I'll, again, I'll open all this stuff up at the end and you can look at it with me. And then I bought this one with the um, wavy um, punch, the little scallop edge circle punch. I'm pretty sure I have a bigger one like this, but I like I wanted to get a smaller one. And then this one I was super excited to find. This was the whole reason I actually went to Tuesday morning because I really wanted to find this bow punch because this bow punch is a hard thing to find and it's five bucks. This thing is, I mean, 20 bucks for a punch versus five. Hello, I'll take it for five, please. Thank you. <laughs> so I was really excited to find this. I think this would be really cute to use in different projects. So I'm excited to find that. Okay, and then last but not least, I did pick up to go along with my little mini. I'm hoping that it goes through, but we're gonna find out in a second here. Um, I bought this um, Tim Holtz uh, embossing folders. So the bingo and the ad ad admin, the little ticket punch. And then there's like this Starburst thing. I don't think I'll use that too much, but I really did like the bingo and the um, ticket, so. Yeah, so we'll see if those run through my little uh, We Are Memory Keepers uh, tool that I just bought. And that is everything in the tool department. All right, so if you wanna stick around and watch me uh, try to attempt to use all this stuff, then go ahead and stick around. I have this little piece of paper and like, if you wanted to cut this circle-y thing out, let's see how it works. Supposed to like swivel when you use it. I don't think I'm using it properly. <laughs> Maybe. This seems 
pretty close. I mean, it's not the neatest, <laughs> but then you can go in with your scissors, I guess, and kind of, I think it's just one of those tools you kind of have to get used to using. Um, but I mean, that worked pretty well. Again, I think it's one of those tools you gotta get used, used to using. So that is that. I'm gonna put this in my little tool bin over here. And then this, let's go ahead and test this out. These things are like secured in this packaging, man. And you're like, it took me forever to get that little swizzle knife out. Okay. So what is a spring-loaded knife? I have a piece of cardstock here. Oh. Hmm. I like that. Oh. I like that. Huh. Can you make a straight line with it? <laughs> yeah, right. highly recommend this. I think I'm going to enjoy using that. Those are nice scissors. Go in my scissor collection because, you know, I don't have enough scissors that it is. All right, let's try, let's do the ticket punch. This one is just a ticket punch. You have to unlock it. And this is for thicker paper, so you can actually do, like I can make this three or four pieces. Not that I would ever do that, but... And it black butter cuts like butter. Oh, look how cute that is! <laughs> and then look how cute the little punches are. I love these little tickets. That's a beautiful, cute little size. The other one is probably maybe like maybe a half an inch bigger. So there's that one. Let's check out this one. Okay, so this one is the scalloped circle. Nice. Cute little scalloped circle. And then the heart. So I just love how these work. They're so easy to use. That is actually a really cute heart punch. I love how big the humps are. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, here's the mason jar one. Super cute. Now, it's hard to tell with the black, but you can kind of see it on the white surface. And here's the star punch. Nice. I love that. It's a perfect size. Yay! I'm so excited. I have all these punches. Okay, so the bow punch punches... The bow punch punches all the stuff out together. And then basically put a little dab of glue on that little centerpiece and then you fold it over. Wait until it sort of kind of catches that glue. And fold this one over. And then this gets glued down to the tail. And 
and then this gets glued to the whole thing. Kind of like wraps around. And basically holds it all together. And then you have your little bow. Love it. Super cute. That was the first time I've ever done that, so I'll have to practice to get it a little bit better, but it's got some of the eyelets, which is nice. If you have to unlock it. Okay, let's see what it does. Okay. And then it's got the punch right there for the hole. Oh, it's right there. Got it. There's a little separate spot for it. So there's a little separate slit at the top right here that you slide the ticket in to punch the hole. And then you put this So there's a, there's two different pieces, I think, or maybe they're all the same. <sighs> I right, finally got it in there. So basically what I did, you, there's a little, um, so once you punch the thing, you put the paper in the big slot and this little tiny slot has a little hole right here. You just, um, you put it in there until it kind of stops. I don't know how you can tell if it's in the center. I guess you just center it. And then this little piece then you press take, take this there's a little knob right here you put that little knob on there and then you put the eyelet facing downwards so that the little silver ring is at the top and then you have to really press really hard to get it to smush down. And then it smushes down and you have a little eyelet on your tag. I think that's really super cute. Yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna test out my stapler now. So I just wanna see what the difference is between my staple that I usually use and this staple. So there's the difference. It's a little bit smaller. Can't really even see that one, but yeah, that's cool. And it works really good. I like the way that it works. But I did want to go ahead and test out the little um, die cut machine. So the machine came with all this stuff. So there's a cute little stamp. So this is like a double layered stamp where you could two, two different colors. That's pretty cool. And then this die cut and embosser is a, is the balloon little thing. goes like this, I guess, like that. And then you can cut it out. And then it came with some cardstock and an embossing pad. And then this embossing pad that goes with the stamp, the cheer stamp. And of course the plates, little die cuts of the, some balloons and the bursting little thing and then a pat and then a bunch of other stamps. And then this is the little stamp. I don't have any ink on me right now, 
but you basically like line it up with the little grooves on the on the stamp itself like that and then you put this down like this goes on here and then you press it down and then it lines it up perfectly I did want to try out the embossing So the embossing pad, so it's the plate, plate E, plate E in the bottom, the paper goes in the embossing folder, and then plate B goes on top. Oh, that's super cute. Oh, I didn't know I had two pages in there. That's really cute, that little burst. I wanted to sh see the, um, the Tim Holtz ones that I did, that I brought. Wow. That's really cool. You got like a little bingo card. It's like really embossed. And then um, I also wanted to try out, I don't think I showed you this in the haul video, but I have this contact card cut and I was thinking it wasn't gonna fit, but I think it will actually fit in here. Oh. Jeez, scary. <laughs> oh, it actually worked. This is like really indense, this mat thing. Cool. All right, well, that was everything that I wanted to demonstrate in this video. I don't. I'm not going to go ahead and open this just quite yet because I don't know if I have yarn. I do have it, but I just can't find it for some reason. So I will play with that in another video, I'm sure. All right, guys. Well, I will see you again real soon. Stay tuned for tomorrow if you want to see the video um, about the Christmas and July. And the next one will be just kind of some miscellaneous things that I purchased. So I'll see you again real soon.